Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the class. Well, in our previous classes, we have done I adjectives and na adjectives, how to use adjectives with nouns, some new vocabulary, a lot of new kanji characters. So, today also we will continue with adjectives and we will learn some new characters, stroke order of those characters, lot of vocabulary and how to say what we have done earlier in different ways. So, well, we will begin now, but before that, as I always do, we will go over the assignments. Rao san wa chika tetsu de kaisha e ikimasu. Watashi wa mainichi asa rokuji ni okimasu. Ni is for time. Mainichi kaisha no shokudo de hiru gohan o tabemasu. Place de activity o shimasu. Rao san no uchi wa eki no soba ni arimasu. So, you have locational nouns over here, ni arimasu is for location and existence. Shumatsu ni ega o mimashou. Shumatsu again for time, ni. Tanaka san wa mai asa uchi de shimbun o yomimasu. Again, place de activity o shimasu. Nanji ni kaisha o demasu ka. Nanji ni for time ni again. Then doko de nihongo o benkyo shimashita ka. Where for place again de again activity over here. Then koku go de ringo wa nan desu ka. De we did last time. What do you call a certain thing in Japanese? So well. Kokugo, Kokugo is your national language. Kokugo de ringo wa nan desu ka. So, this is what you were supposed to do. I hope all of you got it right. Now, over here you have kanjis which you need to practice. So, the sentences are nan dash goro, hiru gohan o tabemasu ka. So, well, the kanjis will come and they are all in green. So, it will be easy for you to understand. You can see and check your kanji characters. Oki, sai, kesa, mainichi, chisai, nihonjin, akai and iba. So, these are the kanji characters you can check them. Now, there was a small conversation for you in the previous uh, lesson. This is the conversation. You can now read the conversation and then see if these questions you have answered properly. Well, now, we have done this exercise where you can ask you ask someone as to how long it takes from one place to another. So, we did nanji kan kakarimasu ka. Now, over here we want to do something else. If you say nanji kan, then it is exact time. How long does it take? But if say it takes a little more than what you are saying approximately, if you want to ask, then what is the way to ask. Well, practice by telling and asking approximately how long it takes from Kanpur to Lucknow by the mode of transport you can see in the picture. There is a picture over here for you. You can see the picture and tell how long it takes by this mode of transport. So, there is a densha over here. Let us see what the question is. Kanpur kara Lucknow made 
電車でどれぐらいかかりますか ?Approximately how long does it take?2 時間ぐらいかかります。So, ぐらい means approximately. If you say 2時間かかります、then it is exact time. But if you say 2時間ぐらいかかります、then it takes approximately 2 hours. It could be 10 minutes less or 10 minutes more. Now, let us see the second picture. So, what is the question? Kanpur kara Lucknow made bus de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? So, well, sanji kan gurai kakarimasu. And then we have another picture for you, which is of a cycle, jitensha. So, then Kanpur kara Lucknow made jitensha de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? And let us see how many hours it says. Roku ji kan gurai. Kakarimasu. You could also say Rokuji kan kakarimasu. So that means it is exact Rokuji kan, not more, not less. But you never know how long it will take by any of these any of these things. So well, you can use gurai over here. Now, kurai and gurai both are same. Koko kara eki made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Place one kara, place two made. How much time does it take? Approximately how long does it take? So, if, if it is kuruma, which is car, if it is bus, if it is densha, if it is hikoki, how long will it take? Over here, there is a small conversation where A and B are there and A is asking, koko kara eki made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Kuruma de yonjuppun kakarimasu. So, by kuruma it is going to take 40 minutes. Now, you can also ask uchi kara gakko made takushi de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? Or kaisha kara eki made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? So, whatever time you want to give, you can give. It can be ichi jikan gurai kakarimasu, it can be sanjuppun gurai kakarimasu or whatever time you want. Now, so far we have used mode of transport. You could also ask about how much you have to pay for a ticket, how much it will cost. So, uchi kara, uchi kara eki made takushi de dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Meaning, from here from my house till the station. What is the fare? How much will it take? For example, over here it is given takshi de hyaku goju en kakarimasu or as we are here in India takshi de hyaku goju rupee kakarimasu. Then over here there is this densha which you can see and we have this question Kanpur kara Lucknow made densha de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? Means how much money does it cost from Kanpur to Lucknow? So, what is the fare from Kanpur to Lucknow by train? So, both things you can ask and inquire. Well, over here it is nihyaku rupee this. You can practice over here now. Practice by telling and asking how much it costs to go from Kanpur to Lucknow by the mode of transport you can see in the picture. Now, what is that? That is a densha. The question is Kanpur kara Lucknow made densha de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? So, whatever you feel you can put over here and say hyaku rupee des, goju rupee des, go hyaku rupee des whatever the fare is, you can write. Now, by bus, Kanpur kara Lucknow made bus de dore gurai kakarimasu ka? Well, you can again give a number and so many rupees. Okay? So, it could be again 100 rupees or 50 rupees, whatever you want to put over here. And a similar manner, you have taxi over here. And again the same thing, only the mode of 
transport changes and if you know the fare, well you can put it. You have done kore, sore, are and dore in the beginning. Kore, sore, are and dore. These are demonstrative pronouns. So, well over here you know dore is choice between two things or maximum three things. So, when you add dore to gurai, then what happens? It shows quantity. When you say dore gurai, then it means quantity of things. For example, over here you have it written dore gurai arimasu ka approximately how much it is. Dore gurai kaimasu ka approximately how much will you buy. Now, when you just say dore o kaimasu ka, then naturally what are you doing? You are asking choice, you are asking preference. For example, you have these three chalks over here in my hand, you can see. So, I can ask you dore wa shiroi desu ka, which one is white and you can point and tell me sore wa shiroi desu. So, with dore you are generally asking choice of choice between two or three things. Dore gurai tabemasu ka, how much will you have or eat? So, this is how you can practice dore and dore gurai and see the difference as well. Now, we have also done demo in our previous lesson if you remember, we have done demo. Demo means, but and what does it do? What does demo do? Well, demo shows contrast between two things, but please remember as I told you last time as well, it is between two similar things. For example, as given over here, watashi wa niku wo tabemasu, demo shatsu wo kaimasen. If you say that, then it is wrong, because you are not talking about the same thing at all. So, you have to talk about similar things. Over here as is given, watashi wa niku wo tabemasu, demo yasai wo tabemasen, watashi mo yasai wo tabemasen. So, it is a simple conversation between two people. Now, if you want to say that I eat niku also and I eat yasai also, which is vegetables. So, how will you say that? You cannot use demo, because demo is contrast. You are showing some kind of contrast. So, how will you use? Well, the answer is given right here. Watashi wa yasai mo niku mo tabemasu. Mo niku mo tabemasu. So, I eat vegetables and I also eat meat. Two, two particle mo used like this with a positive verb in positive form means I eat both. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo positive verb. You can also use it in the negative where it will mean neither. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo negative verb in negative form. The examples are given here, you can practice this. Watashi wa yasai mo niku mo tabemasu. Watashi wa yasai mo niku mo tabemasen. Now, for watashi wa, you can change any other vocabulary that you have done. You can see over here, you can do 
お父さんお母さんとも And you can also change this over here. Yasai can also be changed. Niku can also be changed. Noun 1, noun 2, both can be changed. And with that, you can also change the verb over here as is given. Oto san wa biru mo, wine mo nomimasu. Or Nomimasen. Tomodachi wa tamago mo niku mo tabemasen or tabemasu. Kodomo wa juice mo milk mo nomimasen or nomimasu. Whichever you want to choose. But you will see that these two things belong to the same category. You can see a construction where the repeated use of particle mo shows similar nouns or elements of one group in parallel construction, which is similar in meaning as well as or both in positive and neither or nor in negative statements in English. So, a mo, b mo means exactly this, both or neither. You have more examples over here. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo, oishi desu with adjectives. Noun 1 mo, noun 2 mo, oishiku nai desu. Both are not tasty. And in a similar manner, you have it over here also. Amit mo, arun mo, gakusei desu. Amit mo, arun mo, gakusei de wa arimasen. So, it is a nice uh, construction. You can use it in conversation. Now, we have practice over here for you. There are some pictures. Look at the pictures and see what it has to say. Nekutai mo boshi mo kaimasu or kaimasen. Nektai mo boshi mo kaimasen. In a similar manner, you have fruits over here. Budo mo ichigo mo tabemasu or tabemasen. And what do we have here? Juice mo milk mo. Nomimas or nomimasen. So you can practice like this. Ask and answer with your partner. Now, you also did Watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni gakko e ikimasu. You did A wa B to Isho ni place e iki mas. Now we just now did a mo b mo place e iki mas. A to b wa place e iki. You can also put ishoni over here. So, a wa b to ishoni means a went together with b, b to ishoni with b. A mo b mo place a ikimasu means a and b a also b also. In fact, also b also both went to a certain place then a to b wa a and b went to a certain place so this is a slight difference over here which is given in the example a wa b to issho ni ikimasu watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni gakko e ikimasu i Go with my tomodachi, with my friend to school. A to B wa issho ni ikimasu. A and B go together to school. So, you have this combination, these words over here in this one and this one. Sensei, gakusei, michiko, okasan, imoto, musume, 
and you have Tenrankai, Daigaku, Debato, Toshokan, Ryoko. So, well, you can use A wa B to issho ni ikimasu, A to B wa issho ni ikimasu, A mo B mo issho ni ikimasu. Any of these with the vocabulary given here in pink block and vocabulary here in the purple block. One example I will make, sensei wa gakusei to issho ni daigaku e ikimasu. Or Michiko san wa okaasan to issho ni tenran kai e ikimasu. Sensei to gakusei wa ryoko e ikimasu. Sensei to gakusei wa toshokan e ikimasu. So, you can try this combination and practice. Now, there is a short radio dialogue. Listen to it and let us see how much you understand. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Hirokute kirei na tokoro e ikimashou. Sou desu ne. Nehru koen wa dou desu ka? Sono koen wa hiroi desu ga shizuka dewa arimasen. Ah, so desu ka. Ja, Central Park wa daijoubu desu ka? Ah, Central Park wa ii desu ne. Shizuka de kirei na basho desu. Doko de aimashou ka? Eki no iri guchi no mae wa dou desu ka? Wakari mashita. Sore de wa ashita hachiji ni aimashou ka? Hai. Well, I'll read it out to you now and then explain what is new. Mira san and Rao san. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Hirokute kirei na tokoro e ikimashou. Sou desu ne. Nehru koen wa dou desu ka? Sono koen wa hiroi desu ga shizuka dewa arimasen. Ah, sou desu ka? Ja central park wa daijoubu desu ka? Ah, central park wa ii desu ne. Shizuka de Kirei na basho desu. Doko de aimashou ka? Eki no iri guchi no mae wa dou desu ka? Wakarimashita. Sore de wa ashita hachiji ni aimashou ka? Hai. So well, there are a lot of new things over here. We will cover these. I am sure most of it you have understood. And whatever is left, I will do it in the lesson. Now you have the dialogue in the script and you can see a few new kanji characters here. Look them up in the dictionary and get the meanings from there. This is the explanation in English. So over here we will join adjectives. Now you have done Noun plus noun, noun to noun, ta ma go to pan o tabe mas. You have done this one earlier in one of the previous lessons. Well, today we will do I adjectives as we are doing adjectives plus I adjectives. How will you join I adjectives? Well, Ringo wa amai desu. Ringo wa oi shi desu. So, how will you join these two? These are two sentences. How will you join these two? Ringo wa amai I cut off this over here. Again, if you use Ringo, it is not required. Amai oishi desu. Now, we need to join these two. What we do is, we remove this first, uh, we remove this I from here from the first I adjective and put kute. 
and it becomes ringo wa amakute oi shi this. So, well, when you have to join I adjective with another I adjective, then what you do is you remove the first, you remove the I of the first adjective. Amai, akai, takai, and nagai. So, you remove this from here and put kute. So, I hope this is understood. Very, very simple. We will practice and then you will know how it is done. Joining I adjectives with I adjectives. Tokyo wa hiroi desu. Tokyo wa oki desu. Tokyo wa hirokute oki desu. In a similar manner, now you can replace Tokyo with other nouns. Ringo, kuruma, boshi, hon, ega. Ringo wa amakute oishi desu. Kuruma wa chisakute ii desu. Boshi wa yasukute benri desu. Hon wa yasukute omoshiroi desu. Ega wa nagakute sumaranai desu. Sumaranai is very, very boring. Now, when you have to join I adjectives with na adjectives. Well, you need to follow this pattern only because finally what happens is you have to change the first adjective only. The I of the first adjective will go in case of I adjectives. What happens to the na adjectives? We will do a little later. So, in a similar manner, you can practice over here. Ringo wa amakute hoya hoya desu. Hoya hoya is fresh, freshly picked, very, very fresh and tasty. Kuruma chisakute benri desu. Boshi yasukute Steki desu. Hon yasukute omoshiroi desu. Eiga nagakute tsumaranai desu. Now, you have to join two na adjectives. Obviously, as it is na adjectives, it will be a little different from I adjectives. Na plus na. Ma riko san wa kire des. Ma riko san wa tene. This. So, you have to join these two as we did with I adjectives. Well, Mariko san wa kirei de tene des. So, with I adjectives, you add kute after the I and then with na adjectives, you add between two na adjectives to mean and. So, Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. Mariko san wa shinsetsu de kire desu. Now, again, you can replace Mariko san with any of the vocabulary you have done. Oto san genki de shinsetsu desu. Kanai Tene de shizuka desu. Tomodachi rippa de tene desu. Tanaka san yume de shizuka desu. Tokyo kire de nigiyaka desu. Any of this you can use and practice. Now, 
as we are doing na adjectives. Well, genki des, kirei des can also be done as mariko san wa genki de te ne na kata. This kata is a noun. So, well, adjective na and noun over here. So, kata means hito, polite for hito is kata. So, you can use kata also and practice like this. Oto san wa genki de rippana hito desu. Kanai wa shizuka de teinei na hito desu. Tomodachi wa rippa de shinsetsu na kata desu. Now, kata you will not use for people of your own family or for yourself, you will use for outsiders. It could be tomodachi, it could be sensei, it could be someone else, michiko san, mariko san, anybody, but not for oto san, oka san and your own family member. Now, you can practice this over here. Look at the pictures and let us see what it is. Genki de ureshi desu. Hayakute benri desu. Genki de ureshi desu. Mondai wa kantan de omoshiroi desu. Genki de kirei na onna no hito desu. And hirokute shizuka na tokoro. Any of these you can use and over here you will see na adjective plus i adjective. So, as we did in i adjective, the first adjective which happens to be a na over here will take the and whatever adjective follows after that remains in its original form. So, now you have this vocabulary from the lesson. Well, iriguchi, the meanings are given here in black, deguchi, kantan, mondai, hoya hoya, sore de wa, kouen, musume, musuko, toshokan. So, this is some new vocabulary for you. Now, as we always do, well, we will do some kanji characters. These are simple kanji characters. You have done me, te, ashi, mimi, kuchi. Now, we will do hana, which is nose. It looks very difficult, but it is a very, very simple character. You have done most of it, most of these characters. It is a combination. So, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So, it is a 14 stroke character. You can see this part you have done. Actually, this part you have done, then this part you have done and this is new. So, this is Hana for you. Once again, It is a 14 stroke character. Please remember Hana. Now, we have another one over here. Looks like Hito, but it is different. The stroke order is different. For Hito, the stroke order is 1 and then 2, like this 1 and 2 over here. The stroke order over here is different. It is 1 like this and 2 over here, 1 and 2. This means to pour or to enter, ireru or hairu. It is a two stroke character like hito, but order is different. So, please remember the order for hairu is this, 1 and 2. Now, there is another character 
which I am sure is quite similar, which you feel is quite similar. You have done this character, well what does this mean? This is Yama, meaning mountain. Now, how do we make the character that is there on your slide? Well, 1 and over here. This means to go out. Deru is this character. I will make it once again. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, it is a 5 stroke character means they must to go out or exit. Deru. Now, you can look at the stroke order here, practice your stroke order. This is how it has come into being. It joins over here, the branch joins over here. That is how it is ireru or hairu. 1 and then 2 like this. Now, we have this one which means deru. And how has it come into being? Well, a flower comes out of the ground and goes up. There are two shoots over here and a flower on top. So, well, that is how Deru has come into being to come out and you can visualize it. So, there are five strokes to this character 1, 2, 3 and again 4 and then 5. This is quite similar to yama, but not yama. Two yamas will make deru. Now, some words with kanji characters, with the kanji characters that we have done. Iriguchi, new koku, yunyu, deguchi. Shuppatsu, Jibika. So, please, there is a reason for giving these characters to you. There is a reason why I read it out, so that you can get the pronunciation one. And second, you also see that how these kanji characters are used. And you can also make sentences, which will help in conversation. So, try to read these, try to write them, practice them at home. Then of course, we have been doing hiragana in our previous lessons. So, well, we will continue with that and let us see what we have. Ha. Again, this is also very important because the stroke order is there and sometimes what happens is you learn the wrong stroke order, which has happened with me for a lot of kanjis. I do not want any of you to learn it in the wrong way. Please try to get the order right. Ha, he, who, he, ho. Now, you have it right in front of you. All the characters are given over here. All the syllables are there of the Ha series and you have the stroke order. From today, we are also starting, I am also starting proverbs with you. Proverbs are important. We will do proverbs from today. They are called kotowaza in Japanese and they are important and interesting. You try to use a proverb in your speech and immediately it sounds very good and impressive. So, well, we have one over here. You can relate to it in English very easily, but I am sure when you look at this picture of this Usagi san running like this and looking at his watch with a bag. well what comes to your mind? It is time is money and what do you say? Nihongo de nan to imasu ka? Time is money is toki wa kane nari 
in Japanese. It is given over here. Toki wa kane nari. Time is money. Toki is time you have done. Wa is hiragana. Kane also you have done. O kane nari is it is very, very important. So, please do not waste time. Well, toki wa kane nari. Now begins your time. You have to do all the assignments now. My work is over. You have to do these assignments at home. Well, the first one is choose the correct interrogative or question word. And of course, as we always do, there is kanji practice for you. Tick the correct kanji character, circle it. Well, the last one is make proper questions to fit the answers given below. Now, you have to listen to this dialogue and then answer the questions. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Hirokute kirei na tokoro e ikimashou. Sou desu ne. Nehru koen wa dou desu ka? Sono koen wa hiroi desu ga shizuka dewa arimasen. Ah, sou desu ka. Ja, Central Park wa daijoubu desu ka? Ah, Central Park wa ii desu ne. Shizuka de kirei na basho desu. どこで会いましょうか駅の入り口の前はどうですかわかりましたそれでは明日8時に会いましょうかはい Now some questions are there for you Do these questions so I hope you enjoy doing your、uh, assignments and you enjoyed the lesson you learnt a few new things With that I will leave you and you can practice at また会いましょう。Thank you.